Hi guys, uh, today I'm gonna show you how to uh, flash your Expedia P uh, with the Onami Moonwalker version 5.5 ROM. Right now I am in version uh, uh, this uh, version 5 of uh, same Onami Moonwalker as you can see here. Uh, the build and uh, the settings are really nice in it. You can do a lot of personalization in this. So to begin with, uh, what we have to go or uh, and do is first uh, go to the site of XDA Developers and uh, show you. So the link is uh, forum.xd-developers.com uh, and uh, here you can search for Sony Xperia P and uh, look for Expedia P development Android development and in here there is a link to uh, Konami Moonwalker SD version 5.5 So to begin with, uh, it starts with a warning that uh, you are the one who are responsible if uh, you break your device or if your device explodes or something. The requirements are uh, it, you should have a CWM recovery on your phone and a rooted Xperia P. To know about CWM recovery or how to do it, you can search the same forum. There's a link. Uh, right there the first one and uh, it talks about it should be the second topic uh, yeah installing CWM recovery and it's just a one click method you can install it on your Xperia P once it's rooted so let's go back to our uh, moonwalker And the process is very simple. First, uh, download the kernel and the ROM. The kernel, uh, if you are using a log bootloader, the kernel is this one. Uh, that's a link. And uh, the ROM is present down here. And if you are using a unlock bootloader, you have to follow this process. So, right now, I am having a log bootloader, so I'll be using this method so I have already downloaded the kernel and the ROM and uh, I'm gonna put it on my SD card then I'll boot into the CWM recovery and we'll uh, see one by one uh, all the step, uh, steps accomplished so right now I have uh, my ROM and kernel present uh, in my computer Five dot five, and I'm using the JB kernel here. So let's connect my phone, which is already connected. Uh, let's copy the files there. easy to uh, navigate in CWM if you create uh, a folder uh, with name as minus uh, one or hyphen one so that would be the first folder you see when you uh, boot in the CWM recovery and I've created one folder also and let me paste that okay so I already have a JB kernel so I don't have to paste it again I have to remove this one And by the time it is getting downloaded, let me show you what are the 
new things present in the version 5.5 so here is the change log uh, it's saying that it's having a new framework uh, removed old tweak all these stuffs are here so I'm making a stone copy so since it's downloaded let's uh, close this one up and go ahead and reboot first disconnect my Xperia P and then I'll reboot uh, my device so with the uh, Honami Moonwalker version 5 I had this option of CWM recovery right uh, when I'm trying to do a reboot uh, using the power button so I can directly select this and I, uh, it will boot it into the CWM if you don't have a uh, Honami Moonwalker uh, and this option right here once the device gets uh, booting up and sh uh, started showing the Sony logo uh, what you have to do is you have to press the down button continuously and uh, after the Sony logo is gone you will be uh, uh, showing uh, shown up with the CWM recovery So right after this you have to pr press this button to go into the CWM recovery but uh, since it's already built in with Moonwalker version 5 so I don't have to do that. So here you will be seeing reboot system now option then install zip from SD card. Uh, the third option is wipe data and or the, doing a factory reset or wipe cache. or do a backup and restore or mount and storage so you have all this option in the CWM recovery so if you have rooted your device uh, I'll say it's a must for uh, your Android phone to do all this task so let's go back to the uh, side in and see what they are saying the next step should be So already completed this part and this part now the fourth step is to go to mount and storage and then mount system and data so the mount and storage is down here you can navigate in CWM using the up and down arrows or a volume buttons and if you want to select you have to use the power button so let's go back to mount and storage as you can see uh, right now the cache and SD card are mounted but not the system and data so to mount them you have to press power you'll see that it's now showing you want to unmount or not and do the same for data and make sure you have something like this with all of them showing the status uh, now go back don't press any of them let's go back and uh, let, let's see what's the next step so I'm using the JB kernel which I already downloaded now we have to flash the kernel so this one which I downloaded I have to flash that to flash uh, to the second option in the main screen which is uh, uh, install zip from SD card so if I have to select that and select the first option choose zip from SD card now right here I said uh, that would be the first folder that's what we are seeing here so minus one is my folder and that's my folder where I uh, save my ROM and kernel 
so jbkernel.zip that, that's the file we have to flash first so go ahead and press ok it will show an option of no 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 go ahead and select pre yes install jbkernel it will say that the install from SD card is completed and down uh, up there you will see the same option of choose, choose zip from SD card apply SD card update you don't have to select any of them now let's move back to the next option uh, next step is don't reboot so once you uh, as you see here once you have flashed it it will ask you to reboot it don't reboot that time uh, reboot it only after flashing and clearing the uh, data and cache so don't reboot now uh, the next step is to check if the system and data are still mounted so sometimes what happens is that uh, when you flash it the system and data might get unmounted so to go back and go back to your mount and storage that's there and see if they are still showing as uh, mounted so right now all of them are mounted go back so that step is verified now let's move to the next step which is flash the ROM so go back again into the main menu and you'll see the reboot system as the first option and the second option is uh, install zip from SD card select that and the first option have to be selected that is uh, choose zip from SD card go to the folder where you have kept it and uh, that's my folder JB Onami Moonwalker and previously I had version 5 now I have version 5.5 so select that and press go ahead and select install so here you will see that uh, it will check the system file extract them and will try to flash it so we have to wait for that while So you can see that uh, the flash is completed and uh, now uh, we have to follow the next step which is to wipe the data. Wipe the data uh, or do a factory reset or and the next step will be to wipe the Dalvik and cache. So, and back select this third option which is wipe data out of factory reset now before doing this uh, or before even starting with flashing the uh, Xperia P uh, you should make a backup using titanium backup or uh, you should make a backup using any other uh, application which you have or using the PC companion uh, we, which I have already done so I'll be doing a factory reset now okay so we can see that it's completed now let's go to cache partition the fourth option and do that too so like this complete 
now uh, before restarting or rebooting go back to mounts and storage and see here the data has been unmounted we can we have to mount it back again now go back and that's it I think uh, yeah we can go ahead and reboot and let's see what happens that's the first option the reboot option select that it might take us uh, some while to boot so that's the first time it is booting notification go ahead and select accept and that's a screen which you will see and select use form It's not yet settled, so you can check settings. You can see that uh, we are in version 5.5 .5 with Android version 4.1.2 but it did some weird thing I don't know why so that's about it and uh, I'll show you later on uh, what are the other uh, add-ons present in it and you can use the same CWM to flash the other add-ons present in the same site uh, mentioned by the developers so if you go and scroll down you can see things like the latest Xperia home and some other stuffs.